I'm being asked to do this, I have to confess, I thought of a book I'm reading constantly by Walter Sickert. Because in this, if you haven't read Free House, read it. Because it does talk a lot of sense. Uh, Sickert goes on about, in this book he goes on a lot about small paintings. Because he said that even then, anything that won prizes or was bought by the Chantry bequest was usually five foot by six foot. And in it, I'm going to quote him. He says, hold on, I'm going to get my glasses on. I'm, I'm, not only am I deaf, I'm going blind as well. No, keep going, keep going. Could you hold that and I'll... I'll is it that way? Yeah. yeah. One more. Got it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, in it, Sickard says, if we turn into, he just been to Christie's, and he said where we find the sifted pictures from important collections. Or they're all gathered together, and what is the average size of these pictures? And then he quotes people like Corot, Hogarth, uh, Boudin, and they're all small pictures. And the lovely thing about this exhibition is that they are, are small pictures. After the, after he, he also quotes from a, a dealer's exhibition. He said, and now let us turn to an exceptionally well-picked exhibition at a dealer's to the summer exhibition at the Goupil Gallery. All the works here are small. And at a dealer's, remember, we are in the realm of reality. <laughs> a dealer doesn't exhibit pictures for your beaux yeux. He exhibits them because he can sell them. I'm not sure that I agree with everything that <laughs> says, but nevertheless, that's what he says. And then again, he quotes people like Sisley, Monet and the Impressionists because they were very avant-garde at the time when a lot of these criticisms were written. Anyway, he goes on about small paintings and um, all I can say to all of you tonight, and I'm going to say it very quickly, is if you fancy something, get a red spot on it. <laughs> because if you don't, we never regret what we do do. We always regret what we don't do. I remember years ago, I went to an exhibition at the Grafton Gallery, and there was a wonderful painting by a man called Edmund Fairfax Lucy. And it was only 80 quid. And I looked at it and I thought, I can't really afford 80 quid. But in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, why didn't I buy that picture? And I rang the gallery first thing in the morning and they said, oh, somebody bought it last night. Oh. So I never got it. So if you see something that you really fancy tonight, and, and Sickert goes on about what he calls exhibition pictures and domestic pictures. And the wonderful thing about these pictures is that they're domestic in size and many of them are domestic in price. <laughs> so please, one of the few things that goes up in value, that's not the reason for buying it. You buy pictures because you love them. But one of the few things that goes up in value are pictures. I remember I sold my very first picture in 1945 for two guineas, <laughs> two guineas, to a man who became David Brown of Aston Martin, <laughs> DB of Aston Martin, and he paid me, and I remember I met a man at the Hampstead Open Air Exhibition, and he knocked me down from three guineas to two guineas, <laughs> and then he said to me, will you deliver it? <laughs> so I said to him, where do you live? So he said, Highgate. So I said, oh, I cycle through there every, every morning on the way to Hornsey. I'll drop it off. And when I got to his house, he said, would you like to see my other pictures? <clears throat> so I said, yes, and I went into his rather modest flat, and there was Weard, 
there was Bonnard, <laughs> there was Henry Moore, <laughs> there was everybody, everybody who was anything, and he did make a few mistakes, unfortunately. <laughs> but anybody that was anything was there, and I said to him, even in those days, which was a long while ago, I said, how did you afford this collection? And he said to me, I've only had one passion all my life, and that's been collecting pictures, and I've never paid more than £25 oh, for a picture in my life. Oh. And he had Wyard and Bonnard and Boudin and Henry Moore and everybody. This only says that, you know, pictures are worthwhile. They give you a lifetime's pleasure. That's the great thing about them. You don't put them in the bank. You have them on your wall, and every morning when you get up, I know I've, I'm afraid I've got to the stage where I've run out of wall space. So I'm now a proper collector because I've got a stack of six pictures leaning against the wall that I haven't got any room to put them on. That's a proper collector. I think. Anyway, it's a wonderful exhibition. Enjoy it. And I'm not going to rabbit on any more. But if you haven't read Freehouse, do read it. Do get it from the library. It's Richard Walter Sick at the writings. How he had the time to, to write all these things, I don't know, and paint all the pictures that he did. But he did somehow. And the book is full of a lot of wonderful, wonderful little gems about painting, about criticism, about dealers, about everything to do with art. So if you haven't read Freehouse, Read it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.